So, this is a slogan from George Orwell's 1984. It explains how the totalitarian state keeps its tight grip on power by controlling the past, they control the future. I'm interested in liberating our future from 1984. But I'm not talking about the book, I'm talking about the year. This is the 1984 that warns us about the dangers of totalitarianism, mass surveillance, and telescreens. In 1984, politicians, pundits, academics, went on TV to proclaim that we were not living in George Orwell's world. They were all deluded. And I'm going to share with you a few stories now to explain why I say that. In January, Ronald Reagan announced his bid for re-election. Uh, the campaign would be a referendum on Reaganomics, his idea that when you give the rich tax breaks, money trickles down on the poor. It is amazing to look at uh, media representations of the poor in 1984. Overnight, they become homeless by choice. But mostly on the news and in popular culture, they just vanish. It's like Reaganomics turns the poor into unpersons. This is because the formula for Reaganomics is 2 plus 2 equals 5. But Big Brother is not out to win by trickery or force. He wants Americans to believe Ronald Reagan's opponent is not Walter Mondale, it is reality. The same week that Reagan announces his candidacy, Steve Jobs introduces America to his Macintosh computer. People who knew Steve Jobs said that he had a reality distortion field. He could bend reality to his will. Steve Jobs wanted to change how people used computers. The Mac was for people who knew nothing about computing. Ignorance was strength. Steve Jobs wanted to use his reality distortion field on everyone in 1984. This is Neil Postman, an American academic who believed that George Orwell's totalitarian theories of powers failed to explain our 1984, especially when it came to television. We were the ones doing the watching, he said. We were the ones giving away our freedoms willingly. Uh, his famous book begins with a lecture he gives at the Frankfurt Book Fair in 1984. This TV smashing machine, the Cultigator, was also at the fair, and I imagine Neil really got a kick out of the Cultigator. But what happens when we apply Postman's theories to our world today? What would he make of the freedoms and the dignities that we willingly give away in order to use these screens? I'm convinced that if Neil Postman was alive today to witness uh, the way we use media and the things it requires of us and from us, he would drop the reluctance to use words like Orwellian or totalitarian or even thought control. But uh, what I want you all to understand is that it really does begin in 1984. All of our contemporary problems with media are rooted here because this is the year that the television, the camera, and the computer converge. This is the year that we start recording everything so that Big Brother doesn't have to. Steve Jobs is one of the architects of this brand new world, but in 1984, his reality distortion field fails him. Not even this uh, fancy Ghostbusters parody video could get the sales force to move more units. The Mac was actually a dud. Uh, in 1984, the resistance was real. Uh, critics actually openly mocked Jobs' idea about ignorance being strength and open being closed. But this is just chapter one for this guy. Um, Ronald Reagan totally won his battle with reality in 1984. It was a landslide. Um, and I think it's this victory, actually, that gives him his place in history as being one of America's greatest presidents. But what's the relationship between this red map and Red Dawn? 1984 is also the year of the evil empire and the uh, bear in the woods and the peacekeeper missile. There were actually a lot more than two minutes of hate in 1984. Okay, so, oh man, this guy. Uh, so, this guy is actually the real Winston Smith of our story. I'm, I'm totally serious. He keeps a video diary during the year, and he has an amazing encounter with reality. I wish I could tell you more about it, but I'm actually out of time. But I hope that I've opened a new window for you onto 1984, and that you can now see some of the Orwellian realities and uh, why we need to go back to 1984 to rescue our future. This is actually a tiny window on something I'm working on. I'm not sure what it is yet. A movie, a series of online uh, multimedia essays, but I hope to have it done 
by uh, April 4, 2014, the 30th anniversary of when Winston started his diary. So I'm happy to talk to you about it if anyone wants to.